Well, today I'm going to take the time to show you guys my camera gear that I use to film my YouTube videos. Uh, I've been doing YouTube videos for over two years now, and I've kind of have a small collection of cameras that I use that each serve their own purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those now, starting with my GoPro setup. Okay, so first off, we'll check out my GoPro setup. Right now, I have it in a three-axis gimbal made by Feutech. This is the G3 Ultra. It is a battery-powered three-axis gimbal. As you can see, the camera just flops around like that when it's off. But as soon as you power it up, it brings it to a stable position. And as you move the gimbal around, it keeps the camera at a steady angle and gives you a nice smooth shot. I also use an external mic because one of my biggest issues filming, of course I do a lot of filming outside, is wind noise. So I do have an external mic. This is made by VidPro. I think it was about a $20, $30 external lapel mic. It's battery powered, so you do need to make sure it's turned on. And then for the GoPro, you need their little micro USB microphone adapter. Now I've had this for a couple years. This one is made by Movo. It's not the official GoPro one. And the wire is starting to crack a little bit and I'm worried I'm gonna have issues with it soon. So that's something to take note. So this is the lapel mic here. I've added this furry wind muff to it. It's got a little clip. You just clip it to your shirt. And I've had really good luck with this. Uh, before I had the wind muff, I got a lot of wind noise. It's really distracting in the videos. So I added this. I found a pack of five of these on Amazon for about 15 bucks. Um, so it's worked out really well for me. Um, pretty much eliminates wind noise and I've been in some very windy conditions filming and it pretty much cuts out all the wind noise. So this really has been essential for me to be out hiking, walking around, showing my camps and be able to do it without wind noise in the video. So between the three axis gimbal and the external microphone I felt like I get a nice steady shot with the gimbal and good audio quality with the external microphone. So this is something that I really use a lot. Uh, it's my main go-to outdoors walking around camera setup. Okay, I do use this GoPro for a few other things. This is the GoPro Hero 3 silver version. I picked this up on Craigslist for about 125 bucks a couple years ago and it's really served me well. One of the accessories that I use all the time, it's pretty much vital for what I do, is the frame accessory. I do use the waterproof case for the GoPro that comes with it and um, you know sometimes I'm around water so I'll put it in the waterproof case but inside the waterproof case you basically have no audio. So I'll use those shots usually in the parts of my videos where I have music playing over it anyway. But the, with the frame adapter you can slide it in there and you still have access to the external mic port which you you don't have access to when it's in the waterproof case. So that's why I really like this frame uh, case here for the GoPro. Now the other thing that I do with this GoPro is in my driving shots, if you guys watch my videos, I have one camera facing forward to see the road and then another camera facing on me that I do the picture-in-picture -picture thing down in the corner of the screen of a shot of me actually driving and talking, looking at the camera. So to achieve that, I put it in the frame case and my father made this really cool thing for me when I first started filming. He saw this on YouTube. It's just a spring clamp. You get it at uh, Home Depot. And then he got this universal tripod mount thing here, swivel base, that he adapted to the spring clamp. Comes in really handy, and I'll show you how I use it. This is a GoPro accessory here that allows you to adapt to a tripod mount. So I just screw it on there. And I angle it up like this, tighten down on that universal mount there, and now my GoPro is mounted to this clip. And I'll show you how I set this up in the front of the van to get my shots while I'm driving. So what I do is I just take this spring clip, and I happen to have this little piece on my dash, and it just clamps right on there. So now I can point this camera right on me when I'm in the driver's seat, and I plug in my external mic as to avoid any excess wind noise or external noises so I get some nice clean audio while I'm driving. Now I'm going to show you what I use for my dash cam. I need to switch cameras because I'm filming with that camera right now. Okay, so the other camera that I use very often is this little Sony action camera. You can see how big it is. It's pretty small. It's a little bit bigger than the GoPro. Actually, it's probably about the same, just shaped differently. 
This model is the HDR AS15, which is no longer made. They do have some newer versions, but this is one of their first versions of their action cam. My father actually gave this to me. It was his, and he wasn't using it much. I was talking about making YouTube videos over a couple years ago, and this was the first camera that I've used and was my only camera for about a year till I got the GoPro. And this thing has really done a great job. I'm very happy with it. I do like the fact that it does have an external mic input, so I can use the external lapel mic if I want to. But I rarely do that because my GoPro and the gimbal is kind of my go-to camera for being out and about filming. So one of the things that I really like about the Sony is they have this accessory, which I think is discontinued as well. So I got this for really cheap on Amazon. I think it was like $40. I'll show you what it does. You can slide the action cam in there, close this here, and it has an LCD screen on it. So you can start filming and actually see what you're filming, unlike a lot of uh, action cameras. Now the GoPro does have on their newer versions an LCD screen on the back, but it's stuck on the back. A lot of YouTubers like to point the camera at themselves while they're talking. In this one, the screen swivels around so I can point it at myself and boom, there you go. I can actually see that I'm in frame and it really helps with filming. I use this camera mostly with this LCD screen when I film my cooking in the van. Because it has a wide angle lens, I'm able to capture the shot inside the van, which is a very small space, and use this screen to get you know my cooking area in frame. So this is a very, very handy camera for me. Okay, so the accessory that I have for the Sony action camera that allows me to use it as a dash cam is what they call their skeleton case. Once again, because I have the old model, I'm sure they have these for the newer model Sonys, but this is probably discontinued as well. So I take really good care of it because that's probably going to be hard to find if I break it. I attach that skeleton case to a suction cup mount. I wish I knew the brand of this. I picked this up at a Best Buy and it's worked really good. It's a nice sturdy suction cup tripod mount and I can attach this case to it because this has a tripod mount on it. So I'm gonna stop the camera and put it in there. <clears throat> I can't do it one-handed, so I'll show you what it looks like in there. Okay, so the camera is now in there. I have it pointing towards the front of the vans. That's how I get my driving shots. I really like the Sony action camera because it's just a one-touch start. You push the record button, within like a second, it starts recording. You can hear it, it's recording now, and then when I want to stop recording, I'm able to just push the button again. No power on, power off, it turns it on automatically and starts recording. Push it again, and it'll stay in standby mode for about a minute, and then it shuts off. So that's how I do it. That combined with my GoPro pointing at me, that's how I do the picture-in-picture -picture shots. And once again, I do use the external mic on the camera pointing t towards me, so when I talk, it's uh, relatively noise-free. Okay, now we're filming with the Sony action camera, and as you can see, I've got the tripod in the exact same position, and it's just a big wider shot, so I'm able to capture more inside the van than I would with just a normal camera. So what I was just filming with is this Samsung camcorder. The model on it is HMX-F90. Don't know if they still make these anymore, but this was just a $99 camcorder I got from Walmart. It does film in HD. It's got a viewfinder and you can, or a view screen, and you can flip it around once again to be able to see what you're doing if you have it pointed at yourself, or you can keep it uh, forward and just be able to get your shots in frame better. So the reason why I have this camcorder is because it zooms. All these action cameras here, the, both the Sony and the GoPro, most action cameras, they do not have a zoom function. So if you see in a lot of my videos where I'm zooming in and out on things, this is the camera I'm using to do that. And it doesn't have the best audio. It does not have an external mic input. So a lot of times when I'm filming outside, I get a lot of my nature so shots I'm zooming in on. That's why I have music playing over it, because the wind noise just is horrible. So the, I use this for more stuff that I know I'm going to be mixing in with music. And I do use this quite a bit. I've had this also for a couple years. I've noticed uh, the mics have really gotten bad, so I'm hoping the stuff I filmed, uh, the volume wasn't too low. I'll probably have to boost it up in post-production. And uh, the little thing that you can close to cover up the lens is jammed up. I can't get it to close anymore. That happened about a year ago, but otherwise it's been a really good camera for me for the $99. Uh, it's really served me well. It does film in HD 
and like I said with the zoom feature it's got built-in stabilization as well so it kind of steadies things out as you're zooming so these between the uh, GoPro the Samsung and the Sony that I'm filming this with uh, those are my main three cameras okay so the next question I get a lot is what drone am I using if you see in my videos I do a lot I do the overhead shots I like to get the layout of the land of the places I'm camping and dispersed camping and that was the reason I got this I really like showing the places that I camp to let people know out know that there's really beautiful places out there that you can camp for free dispersed camping and this allows me to get up in the air and show the area off this is the DJI Phantom 3 and it's the 4K version. Although I don't film in 4K, it has that capability if I ever needed it. I got the 4K version over the standard Phantom 3 because it has a more robust controller and I've just been happy with it. I don't have a lot of experience with drones so I can't compare this to anything else. I really can't even recommend it. I did crash it once and I was able to repair it so I'm grateful for that and it's been working fine. Get about 20 minutes of flight on it takes only about an hour to charge up the battery so it's been working out good for me you do need a smartphone or tablet to be able to actually use it and it comes with all the accessories the propellers and charger for the battery and actually some extra propellers as well so I have been carrying this around in the van in the factory box for a while and I just recently purchased uh, from my friend Luke he had this extra and he was uh, very nice and gave me a very sweet deal on a backpack case so I'll show you that hopefully you can see this this is the backpack case it is set up like a backpack so on the back it's got nice straps and padding it's very comfortable to wear and on the inside it's got plenty of room for the drone and all the accessories extra batteries you just slide the drone right in there with the propellers off you can fit the controller like I said extra batteries the charger you can even keep your tablet in it I keep my tablet in the front pouch so now I'm able to go on hikes and be able to send the drone up whereas before I was kind of leery to just go on a hike carrying the factory box by its handle uh, worrying about dropping it or falling so this is coming really handy and that uh, that's pretty much my drone set up there slide that in there controller fits in there as well zips up real nicely and I do like that again that it is a backpack and it's actually got some side pouches for any other accessories and it also has a nice sturdy loop on top that I can use to hang it up in the van so it's uh, off of my bed that's my drone so that's pretty much it on the technical side of my van life. I try to keep things simple. As you know, that's kind of my theme. And this is just a setup that's been working for me. Although I am going to upgrade one of my main cameras here soon. That's one of the packages I'm waiting on. I'll reveal that soon and let you know how that's working out for me. But all in all, the setup that I've just showed is allowing me to do quite a bit with uh, pretty little investment. So hope that was helpful for you guys. If you do have any other questions, please just leave it in the comments. I'll try to address it. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.